What's going on everybody? I hope everybody had a great weekend. So today we're gonna talk about how to play some fuck on bongos. subscribers welcome to a percussion life my name is Eric Perez some of you already know that by now but just wanted to welcome you to the channel thank you for subscribing I do hope that you enjoy these videos and if you haven't subscribed already just hit that subscribe button hit that notification button find out whenever I'm uploading and yes we normally upload videos every Monday and Thursday even though today is Tuesday I missed an upload day my goodness. See, you already know, man. When you're you're busy, you have a busy weekend, and it's just it's kind of tough to keep up with these videos, man. So I couldn't upload yesterday, but I'm still gonna upload two times a week, man. I'm gonna try do something. You know what I'm saying? Kind of keep everybody in the loop. And to all my day ones, man, y'all already know I love y'all. I appreciate you guys. All the comments, all the support, man. Friday's video, my goodness, man. Those comments, ah, just made me feel good. So. I think you guys want some uh, weekday workouts on Bongo, so I'm gonna prepare those videos for you guys very soon. I'll let you know when, and uh, we're gonna be doing some more Bongos videos. As you see, um, you know, I've been, been talking a lot about Congas, but we're gonna try to mix it up here and there. Uh, don't worry for all my Conga players, I'm still gonna upload Conga videos here and there, man. But, uh, you know, I've been getting a lot of requests for Bongo, so I'm gonna try to you know, sneak some bongo videos here and there and, uh, you know, try to make everybody happy. And if you haven't seen Friday's video, man, just check out these new bongos that uh, I got from Mino. These are the Woodcraft series bongos. It's a seven inch macho with a nine inch ambra, man. So seven inch small one, nine inch big one, which is, uh, it's a pretty good size, man. So I'm gonna mess with the tunings. I'm gonna try to break these heads in eventually. We got some surprises for you with the uh, with the heads we're gonna put on these, but uh, yeah, these these are, these sound pretty interesting. Can't wait till the the actual wood breaks in, but man, the hardware is beautiful, man. Uh, after making the video, I was like, man, this is this is some good stuff right here, man. Very lightweight too for for it to be considered ash wood on the on the Mongol. So Mino's where it's at with uh with some of their stuff, man. So I know like with the previous bongo videos, I've been teaching about combinations, but I wanted to just throw in some patterns here and there to give you a different perspective, okay? So especially as a multi-percussionist as me, I tend to kind of have to switch from congas to bongos and depending on the type of genre we're playing, I'll tend to stick to bongos. As you've seen in my previous videos, I normally don't play with a stand on, obviously in the traditional format, I will uh, play with the bongos between my legs. But when I am doing some multi-percussion stuff, I do play with the stand, especially when I'm doing some different genres like funk or R&B. This is kind of how I would set up with bongos on the side of my set. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this quick little funk pattern, you know? Hope you guys enjoy this one. So the pattern I wanna show you guys is this. That's some funky stuff right there, man. So let me show you what I'm doing. Well, since you're playing bongos on the bongos rather than the congas, you could actually get away with playing a little bit more, being a little bit more creative, adding a little bit more notes than the congas. The congas, you should really stick to simplicity as much as possible, but bongos is all about feel. Bongos, you could add a little bit more flavor to it. So 
kind of like my conga video it has some similarities but you're kind of adding a little bit more opens on the wongos which adds a little bit more flavor to the funk so i start this pattern with one open on my hembra then what i do is two opens on the macho but it's going to be a left hand with my fingers and then a right hand with my fingers so it's going to sound like this so to put that together it's going to be like this After doing that open with my right hand, I'm gonna put my thumb in the middle of the macho, kind of like placing it very similar to what you would do like a bass, but really it's your thumb. And then I'm gonna leave it there placed and I'm just gonna strike it with my finger, kind of doing like a slap sound. So it's gonna sound like this. So to put that together, it's gonna sound like this. Now here's kind of like the fun part. After doing that slap on the one goal, what you're going to do is kind of like a ghost note when you're leaving from your left hand, it's gonna tap the middle of the drum. Okay, this is, where we get that term mania. It's just a reaction that your hand does to help you transition. But it's important to remember these things because you're gonna understand why they help you. But after doing that ghost note, what you're going to do is four opens. So it's gonna be right, left, right, left. So to kind of hear just this part is gonna sound like this. So to hear it up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. And you can kind of hear that kind of sliding motion that your hand does to try to get to that open that the left hand does. And that's okay, that's allowed. After doing that open with your left hand, you're going to do an open on the hembra. And then you're gonna go back to doing that thumb uh, movement here on the top and then an, a slap or just a finger hit. But you're closing it here so it's gonna cause it to sound like a slap. But that's the slap, really, that's the bongo slap. So remember that. So it's gonna sound like this. So to hear it up to this point, it's gonna sound like this. Now to finish the whole pattern, what you're going to do is since your left hand is here, you're gonna be coming back down, but as you're coming back down, you're gonna do again another ghost note with your left hand. And then you're gonna do an open with your right and then an open with your left. So it's gonna sound like this. And then you go back to doing the open on the hembra to start the whole pattern all over again. So to put the whole thing together, it's gonna sound like this. Now to play the whole groove through, it's gonna sound like this.
That's some funkiness right there, y'all. That's some funkiness. You got to love it. You got to love it. You got to love it. Now, to count it, uh, the one is actually the one that you're starting at, the one open hembra. That's going to be your one. So to count it for you, it's going to sound like this. So to give you the idea, the one is the open that you start the ambra with. The two is gonna be that first slap that you do, the close slap that you do on the bongos. The three is kind of the tricky one. So it's gonna be that part where it's right, left, right, left. Those four opens, it's gonna be that second right. So it's gonna sound like this. Three. And then the four is going to be that last close slap that you do. It's a pretty funky pattern, man. It's a funky, funky bongo pattern, man. You gotta love it. All right, y'all. Y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe. I will see you guys on Thursday. Have a great rest of your week.